So if we were working as an administrator on this account, we might be spending a decent amount of time in the library manager. Right up in here under settings, over to library manager, what we could do now that we've created this shared library is that we could start creating new groups. We could go into images and create a new group for a new set of images. In this case, let's just go back into logos and let's upload another logo to the shared library. What we're gonna do in this case, click on logos and then write down where we went before, publish to group. We're gonna go in here to select a file and we can see now we have a different green logo we'd like to upload. We can just double click on that file, the path comes in here and then we would click publish which has added it to the library. We can click OK here. Now we can see that there's two logos within that logos group. We can click close to this dialog box and move on to the next step. Now that we've just added that second logo to the library, really important to remember that we publish that out. So we go to settings and right down to share. Make sure that shared libraries is checked. Hit the publish now button make sure that's been added and now we can close out of here and that's been pushed out to the other users. Now we could do a quick check up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon here under library. Let's click all content. We can see here our shared library under logos. We see one logo here in blue and a second one right there in green. Now if we're just set up as a user on the account, things should be nice and easy. We could hover over this logo, right click on it and say insert. That'll bring it right into the spreadsheet where we're working. Similarly, we could go down here, hover over the green one, right click and click insert, and it'll bring it right in. So we have everything right at our fingertips. Now, one thing that's absolutely critical to remember to get these shared libraries over here working correctly is that the cloud storage has to be configured. If we're just to review that up here under settings and configure, if you haven't seen our videos on cloud storage, we would go down here where it says cloud storage and then review our videos in terms of automatic detection, manual override, or the third option would be defining an environment variable. These are critical in order to get the shared libraries working across your organization. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you soon in the next video.